my channel is Miss Tay Rose. This video features yet another product review. I mean, this time around is not e.l.f. Even though I love e.l.f. so 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 very much and they're extremely affordable, but this is going to be on yet another affordable brand, and it is by N Y X Cosmetics. The last time I used N Y X, I was in high school, and then I've just started to get myself back into using N Y X again. The products that I will be doing a review on in regards to N Y X Cosmetics are, drum roll please, a little pencil, and not one, not two, but three lip glosses. Yes. You heard me right. I got one lip pencil and three lip glosses. Now, lately, I've been hearing that this N Y X lip pencil and these lip glosses have been talk all over YouTube, and I know it's been released for like a couple years or so. But I decided, why not try it and tell y'all how it is? So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So you'd like to see my review and my thoughts on the products I will be doing a review on. Then keep watching. Besides this being the rave, I also hear too that the colors that I chose is also for girls who are of a skin tone like myself, or I should say like brown girl. So I mean, I'm testing this also to see if this is brown girl friendly, which a lot of people say that it is. But I want to show you on um, myself. I'm gonna first start off with this N Y X Professional Makeup Lip Pencil. Based on research, based on the talk of YouTube, the one lip pencil that I purchased was in the shade brown. Now I do indeed. I have brown lip pencils. You see me wear the Spice by Mac Cosmetics. You see me wear Cork by Mac Cosmetics. A couple years ago, even down to last year, I wore Twirl by LA Colors. Those are really good products. I know Mac is a little more on the expensive side. I mean, that's like 15 per stick, in my opinion. <laughs> But I mean, for for N Y X, this was about I think three dollars. I don't remember the price off the top of my head. I have. The links of each product in the description box below, so definitely check it out. But I can tell you that it is a 10 plus dollar difference from Mac. So that's what I'm going to do first. I already moisturized my lips using the lip oil. These did come sealed, but for the sake of the video and to reduce frustration upon myself, I decided to take off the plastic seal and then sanitize them. Each product using Lysol disinfectant wipes, knowing that the coronavirus is still out there and safety is key. All right, so now I'm just going to line my lips with this lip liner, knowing that again this is versatile and I like how it already comes sharpened. Mmm, I like how so far it's easy to glide on. Maybe it's with the help of the lip oil. I like this. So so far, I love how the lip pencil glides onto my lips. It doesn't hurt my lip. I feel like I can even color in my lip, but for the sake of me trying each lip product on, I'm not going to do that. Or each lip gloss on, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I can tell you that this lip pencil is definitely brown girl friendly. It looks really good on my skin tone. I love how this lip pencil glides onto my lip. Effortlessly, I don't have to fight with it because there's lip products. I'm gonna be honest, there are some lip pencils that you have to fight with to show the color. With this one, you do not have to do that, and plus, two, it is very affordable. So, I'm gonna put my rating up here on this side of the screen so that way you'll see what my thoughts are and how I'm feeling about this. These products so far, so far, I'm loving NYX by far, and again, it is. This is the affordable version of Mac, and I feel like this is similar to a color that I have. I would say this may be the dupe to Max Cork lip pencil, maybe. So now I'm going to um, move on to lip glosses, and before I move on to any lip glosses, I'm going to grab my pack of makeup wipes. So I'll be right back at you shortly. I do have my makeup wipes, and this is off guard, but I want to tell you a little um tips. I mean, if You have a freshly new makeup. You know how the top part of it comes off dry. Turn that bad boy upside down, and all of that juice or all of that um liquid um consistency will flow down to the very top part of that makeup wipes. So that when you turn it back over and you open it, your makeup wipes will get moist again. But that was just a side tip. I got my Mac lip pencils here, and I'm going to swatch N Y X 
in brown first. This is the swatch for brown. And I said that this may be the dupe for um, Cork by MAC. So I'm going to swatch Cork as well. They look very similar, but it's not the exact dupe to Cork. So I mean, that's Cork, but I mean, it's kind of close. I'm going to swatch Spice by MAC. Obviously, Spice is that really light one. So that's Spice at the very bottom compared to brown by nyx so this very top shade is the la colors auto lip liner in the shade on um, twirl so that's the closest one but i say like your best bet for the dupe is um cork i mean they're not exactly the same but i mean when i put it on my lips it kind of reminds me of cork by mac i'm gonna see if there's any more dupes to these lip liners because I mean, there are dupes out there you don't need to pay 15 dollars for a lip pencil that $15 can do so much I mean that $15 can buy more than one product which is what I'm going to delve into right now and these are the lip glosses so now this is by yes you guessed it NYX and this is their butter gloss there are tons and tons of shades in these lip glosses and I can tell you from now that each lip gloss is worth five for the price of one MAC lip pencil, you can get three NYX lip glosses. Now that's worth a bargain, right? So now, based on research, based on the rave on what is bomb.com on girls that are that have a lot of melanin in their system, these are the colors that I will be trying out for you in the midst of me trying on this brown lip pencil. I have Fortune Cookie, Madeline, and then Ginger Snap. Just the names alone just making me hungry. So I'm gonna um, get on going before I um, start drooling on camera. I'm gonna start off with fortune cookie first. I'm just going to um, swatch it on my lips with the lip pencil in brown just so you can see how it looks on myself with the mixture. I love how this part is um, see-through also. So you can see the color in the tube and on top of the tube. See the oh oh it smells really good. It kind of I don't want to say it smells like fortune cookie because it does not, but I mean it kind of smells like a cookie almost. It has that cookie scent to it. I like that. This is fortune cookie with brown the lip pencil. So I love how it's not when I first applied it on that first swipe. I was kind of nervous. I was like. I don't know, but I mean, as soon as I start to um, blend it in with the lip liner and in my lips, it started to look really good. Definitely when you're wearing fortune cookie, as a brown girl, or as a black girl, or someone with a lot of melanin in your body, definitely wear the lip pencil, or wear a brown lip pencil. You definitely want to do that. Okay, so this is the second layer I'm putting on right now. Yeah, so this is extremely pigmented. Yeah, so this is um, the second layer of fortune cookie. So, I mean, it's not bad. Like I said before, you definitely need a lip pencil with this. The second color that I will be diving into is Madeline. And I can tell you from now, I feel like I'm already going to love this shade because there was a color or shade by Tarte Cosmetics and I had loved that one so much. But, I mean, now it's done. So, now I feel like I'll be moving away from Tarte and then moving on to NYX because... At least with NYX, I can buy this color over again compared to Tarte where that was limited edition. I think I'm in love. So this is the first layer. I am loving it. Like, I love it a lot. Alright, so I mean, I'm going to put on the second layer. I feel like it's going to be even more bomb. Okay, so this is the second layer of Manaline. It looks oh so bomb. Like, I think I found the um, lip color for this makeup look too. Mm. Yes. Yes, 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 yes! Goodness, y'all know what you did to me. I can't say that the second layer may be a little bit thick, but that's because I want to show y'all that if you want to do add another layer on, you can. I may or may not do the second layer. I think one layer is good enough. All right, so now I'm going to reapply brown for the third time. I'm going to 
place on ginger snap i feel like this one may only need one coat and this is exactly what i'm going to do due to the intensity of this color yep that's only i'm gonna do a one coat for this one I mean, this is the first layer, and I guess I'll just try on the second layer for y'all. Alright, so I mean, it was very brief, but here's to the second layer of Ginger Snap. And that's how it looks on my lips. So I just put back on Madeline and the lip pencil brown because I felt it works best with this makeup look, like I said earlier, compared to the other two. Even fortune cookie would have done too, but I mean, I wanted something a little more on the subtle side. So, here are my final thoughts on the lip glosses. They're pigmented. They glide on with ease. Hence, it being butter gloss, because it glides on like butter. And I'll say that each of these colors are definitely brown girl friendly. So, if you are someone with melanin in your system and or someone with my skin tone, then this is a go for you. And plus two, it is very affordable technically each of these are for five dollars but i got mine on sale from alta for three dollars and fifty cents which they knocked off a dollar fifty off each lip gloss so i say definitely get these butter glosses i'll be putting the names down below and definitely check out nyx i mean they don't just have browns they have plenty of other colors as well but i just chose these three because I hear that these three shades are brown girl friendly and I tested it out here first and I can say from my mouth to your ears it is definitely brown girl friendly and then plus two fall is coming through brown seems like the end color for the fall so I say why not thank you so much for watching this video please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of me also, do not forget to click on that notification bell so that way you are on the alert as to when my videos are out. And also, too, if you'd like to see me do more product reviews on a certain product or on a brand, do let me know in the comments below. That's all I have to say for now. Please be sure to check out the previous video in the section that's coming up. I will see you there. Bye!